hoping for a clear picture today, guys. Is it crooked? I'm crooked. I'm crooked. That's all right. Let's go like this. This one's up. This was unexpected, but I thought I would go ahead and do a quick live haul since I've got some new stuff. I figured I'd go ahead and show you guys. Hey, what's up? 24 Picker, thank you for being a new subscriber. I appreciate it. Hello, Tractor Man. Thanks for being here. Appreciate you. You are also a new subscriber. Well, we're going to let a few more people roll into the chat here. And then I'm going to start showing you what I picked up today. How's everyone doing? I hope you had a, a good evening. Hope you sold something overnight. I sold one little thing. It was a book. Hey, Sherry McD. What's up? How you doing? Thanks for being here. Amelia Sells. How are you? Thanks for being here. I'm glad you're here. Happy New Year. Yup, it is a brand spanking new year, huh? Are you guys ready for it? I know I am. Big time. Well, there's a couple more things upstairs I've got to grab, but working in 95. No AZ or eBay sales today. Gotcha. Good, good, good. Well, that's okay. While you're out there making money at your 95, your eBay store is making you money right now. Here, let's put out some positive energy that you get at your ching. There you go. I don't know if it's going to help. But I tried. <laughs> now, let me know if there's still a, a buzz or a hiss. I was going back and watching some of my videos, and I saw that there is a hiss or a buzz. So, I don't know, man. I don't know. Well, let's get into it here. Sounds good now, okay. I picked up uh, something from Mrs. Kelly the other day. I don't know where they went. You know what? Give me 30 seconds. Let me go grab them. Sorry guys, thought I had them here with me, but I didn't, but now I do. They are uh, a three pack of birthday cake gumballs. So these are going in my vending machine. That's gonna be kind of fun. I'm looking dot matrix. Ah, you know, I don't know if it's just my internet connection or what, man. I might be on 1G. Hey, how you doing, Red Neckerson's resellers? Hello, Destiny, nice to see you. Oh, you're looking for a dot matrix printer. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. You know what? Let's eat one of these real quick. Their birthday cake. Sounds pretty good, huh? I just wanted to uh, put something in the vending machine over there. And I thought, if I'm going to buy something, I might as well buy it from one of you guys anyway, right? And Kelly had some gumballs, so let's check them out. This is a, a double bubble. Double bubble. Mmm. Mmm. Tastes like. Tastes like birthday cake. Mmm. Cool. So if you like birthday cake, try some of those. What is a Dom Matrix printer? Oh, yes, Red Nickerson's. You know what it is. He knows his stuff. All right, first time here, Cheyenne Hell. Awesome. I'm gonna take his gum on my mouth. I didn't even chew it up all the way yet. Hey, what's up, Kelly? Hit flipping mama. I got your package today. And that's good. But I can't talk while I'm trying to chew that, so I'll do that when I'm taking pictures. I'm looking for one because it smashes the letter together when it prints. Yeah, Dom Matrix, that's the old school. Uh, I will give her her stickers. Sweet, cut you live. Hey, Rocket Stevens, thank you for being here, man. I appreciate it. 11 people in the house. That is awesome. Well, folks, <clears throat> your daughter was running around a little while ago singing Elvis, and she said she was singing like you, Todd. Aww, how nice is that? That's cool. Right on. Yeah, I like to sing when I'm working, man. 
because why not? Why not? Right? Let's have some fun, man. Have some fun, even if you can't sing. Even if you can't hold the tune. Sing. I want you to know that you help me a lot and my wife a lot. Uh, we started our eBay. Awesome! Life of Kimberly, what's up? Someone down in Colorado. What's up, Life of Kimberly? Three months ago, but I've been struggling. Well, tell you what, Rocket Stevens, uh, you know, reach out to me. Send me a Facebook message, um, because as some of you know, if you become my friend, I will be your friend. Um, I will answer questions. Uh, you know, I've been going, I've been having a dilemma. My channel's not huge, it's not big at all, it's 500 and whatever it is, and I'm very happy for every single one. But, what do you do when you, you have, how do you interact with everybody? How do you do it? I haven't figured it out yet, I'm working on it. Okay guys, so we're going to go ahead and get right into this. I'll tell you what happened. Uh, I got up, my wife left her car here so I could go get tires put on it. 518, that's awesome, wow. Wow, that's crazy. Because uh, last year at this time, I think I had 17 subscribers. So, you know, some people grow really fast, some people grow slow. It all depends on what kind of stuff they're putting out. I don't know if it's me, but I figured I'd let you know. Uh, there's strange feedback on the sound. Fuzzy sounding. Let me go grab some headphones, guys. See if that helps. Be right back. Be right back. Plug in the little old long adapter kit here. So anyway, my wife left the car here for me, took the truck so I could go get tires put on. But her car has a tire that is a weird size. It's a 245-35R. 18 or vice versa or something like that but anyway no one had them today and i needed them to now so can you guys hear me a little bit better now do i need to not talk so loud as well <laughs> hey what's up uh <sighs> hey flip them uh junkie trader what's up anesta how are you picture's pretty good okay well that's the best we can hope for guys okay so anyway, about a month, month and a half ago, I had picked up some of this stock market ticker tape uh, toilet paper. And it's old. It's probably from the, don't know, but just it looks old. And I bought one for a buck like a month ago. And it sold for like 11 or 10 bucks. So I went and picked up a couple more. Um... Oh, but let me get back to the tire store real quick. Okay, so I drove all over. I went to like 35 miles out of town. Went to three different places. Everyone said, nah, man, I can get those tires for you, but not today. It'll be tomorrow. I'm like, not going to work. Let me figure it out. So uh, I'm going to see if I can get in on Saturday, I guess. And because I don't, I've got to get the car put back together, you know? So anywho, I went back to one of my little places that I love to go to. It's in a little tiny town called Lake Park, Minnesota. It's called Tools and More. And uh, they sell online as well. They sell a lot of the same stuff, but not all of it. They, their store is hundreds of thousands of square feet. I don't know how big it is, but it's, there's millions of things there. Um, so anyways, as you guys know, I like to sell calendars. Why? Because they're easy to store, and they sell. And I get them for a buck. So this is a 1996 Fast Tracks calendar, and I already sold a couple of these. And they just have, you know, BMW 850i and uh, Panteras, T-Birds, Lamborghinis, you know. So I like them. I usually get between, what did I sell the last one for, like 1111. That's a pretty good number for me, 1111. Uh, here's another style of the Fast Tracks. And that also goes for about 1111. That's from 92. 
So I picked up, uh, looks like five of those, because it's a popular one. Uh, an old, just, I mean, who would think that someone would want this, right? But people do. Don't know why, but it works. And I enjoy taking pictures of the stuff, because it's hot rods and cars, and it's kind of fun. Okay, now here's something that's old and cool, and in its original box. Check that out. Says... Uh, card table cover. This official Gordon Bridge table cover is the perfect aid for those wanting to learn the Gordon method as complete instructions face each player. It's made by Hill Products from 1980. Boom! And I paid a buck fifty for these, and they are in the original packaging. I haven't even looked these up. Looks like they sold at Kmart for 11.88 back in the day. So I picked up two of those, so there's three bucks. And as you guys know, man, I like the keychains, right? But I'll show you those later. Here's some more keychains that are the same but different. Now, I've been buying these Buick keychains for two years now at a buck a pop. And I consistently get nine bucks out of them, $9.99 plus shipping. So a buck and a nine. To me, selling keychains is just like guys selling ties, selling, uh, it's that bread and butter, you know? People like the Buicks. Uh, also, here's a North American Basque Association organization, and I sold a pair of these for $14.95 plus shipping. This one was a buck. And I picked up a few more of the Basque because uh, there's money in it. Here's another North American Basque. So, since they're in the box, I'll put these. I don't know. We'll see. But I spent a total of $24 today, guys, and I'm pretty excited about that. Here is John Zoruk Ford Mercury Lincoln, but it says Hollywood Lincoln Mercury, and then there's the phone number. Yeah, very cool. So, do you find luck with those keychains? Yeah, funny or Christmas? Um, I don't buy those kind. I haven't seen any like that. But uh, hey, Thrifty Christie. Um, I like to find like these medallion looking ones, you know, um, and people pay up for these. This one says Congress of the United States. So that's pretty cool. I like it. And another Buick. So between two Buick keychains, that'll turn into 20 bucks, At, you know, two bucks into 20 bucks. I like it. Um, here is this keychain bag, and it has, I think, 25 keychains, and it was a buck fifty. I haven't opened it yet, so this is the equivalent of when the people do the jewelry jars and stuff like that. This is the keychain bag, and it has, for some reason, I just couldn't get it today after. Share my posh mark. Really? You were up pretty late last night, I think, weren't you? I think. I don't know. I passed out, man. Um, okay, let's see here. What is this? Latham's Northside Cafe, Savannah, Montana. Just a basic key tag there. Uh, Toyota. I have sold these for $9.99. Toyota keychain says Toyota Genuine Parts. Here's a Brinkley Motor Ford. I hope there's some Suzuki's in there. I went to go get t uh, tires on Mama's car today and didn't quite work out. Ooh, I just found something in there. Oh, man. <sighs> My heart's just started pitter-pattering, guys. Did you feel that? Did you hear that? Uh, I might have a Jeep one somewhere. Seriously, a couple. I just looked down and I saw something. Uh, this is nothing special. This is it's a manicure, pedicure. It's nothing special. In the past, I have sold an Apple keychain with a pin that went inside of it. It just said Apple Computers, and it was from the 80s. And he got 23 bucks for that keychain. But this is what I just about had a heart attack on. Pins in it. Looks like there might be another part to it. But it says HBO and Cinemax. Look at that, guys. That's a $20 bill. The perfect double feature. Man, that's, that's a $20 bill. Because that's what I think it is. Um, and there's other people out there that are going to go, no way. But it is. I think. Real estate, there's no home like the one you own, but I love it. What's inside here? 
There's something in there. What is it? It's one of those rubber thingies. There's nothing in there. I don't know what you're supposed to put in there. Okay. Uh, owls. People buy owls because people collect owls. Yep. So that's that. This is, uh, looks like just a Ford Lenny Allen. Nothing special. Nothing special. These right here, I can get uh, 20 bucks for. I think I sold one for 23 bucks. Um, I now have a, a lot of three, one of these, an owl, and something else up there for 20 something bucks. But you gotta remember, each one of these cost me seven cents, guys. Seven cents. So if I sell a seven cent keychain, it can sit, man. I don't care. Um, and a lot of these, I have multiples. Here's an old Pontiac GMC. Uh, here's another owl. I consistently get $11.11 .11 for these owls. They're glow-in-the-dark vintage. Some of you out there in YouTube land actually have received some of these from me. I'm pretty sure. What else is here? These Vespa keychains. I never thought they were anything special. But I sold one to a guy in Italy. Um, I'll sell these things for $7.77 all day long. Um, and I've got a ton of them. But I keep getting them. Because it's the Vespa and people like the Vespas. I have a bunch of these, nothing special, nothing special, uh, nothing special. Here's kind of cool. A brown and Bigelow keychain that is uh, 1776 to 1976 Bicentennial. It's an old advertising company out of St. Paul, Minnesota. Ooh, I've sold one of these and I just got another one. Woohoo! It's a vintage video store. Uh, TV, look at that. That is freaking cool, man. And people dig these, and especially because it glows in the dark. You can't see it now, but it does. What else here? Here's a number one. Some people like number ones if it has a good saying on it. This is nothing. It just says Dobby's Sports Center. Uh, I've got a bunch of these. A bunch, a bunch, in multiple colors. They're telephones. Rotaries from Legrand. MGM Grand Hotel Tropicana Shopping Center in Vegas. Uh, this is nothing. I thought that was kind of a good one. It says, I love Andy. If there's anyone out there that is an Andy. Andy's foreign car service. This is nothing. These buttons, I've got a bunch of these, and Caroline likes to use these buttons to, uh, does it spin? Which one, buddy? I don't think any of these spin. So, yeah, this one. Nah, I mean, it goes, it's got the key ring, so it goes around. But, oh, the rotary. No, that one doesn't. But uh, if you look on my my site, I can bust it out too. I've got uh, an actual little rotary phone that doesn't turn, but it looks like the dial. I have it on my keychains upstairs, actually. Um, Here's this one and this one. And this right here is why I ended up picking this one up because it says Dotson well as we all know Dotson's 80s man so it's an old Lex uh, plexiglass plastic transparent Dotson keychain people are gonna dig that but what do they call it the coup de gras or the coup de coup de something the most awesomeness is this right here it is a Mac Dog keychain. It says Mac right there on the collar where you push it to pull it apart. Yeah. And it was a buck. And it was jam. So they have a bunch of these trays that have just random keychains in them, man. So usually I'll just see, look at the top, but today I had time. So I stopped and I, I dug through them and I found this one at the bottom and I almost had a heart attack because. That, that's, A, is it cool? Yeah. B, my dad was a diesel mechanic uh, his whole life, pretty much, and uh, so I was around Mack trucks, Mack, Mac, whatever. Uh, but C, there's money in this bad boy, I know it. So, I'm gonna sell that. So that is that, what else? That's it, man, 24 bucks. So, let's total it up. Let's say uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 
50, 60, 70, 80, 90, about 90 bucks in calendars. Uh, this, this, this. I don't know, man. I'm going to say between everything, a little over 200 bucks. You want, you want me to take the dog apart? You do? I wasn't going to, but I will. I can do that. <clears throat> Ready? Ugh, take the dog apart. Take it apart. All right. We have a chance to buy pocket organs. There's like 20 of them for 100 bucks. Good idea. Look them up before you spend the cash if you have the opportunity to. Uh, I did today. I looked up a lot of stuff, man. It was so cool to be able to do that because for two years, I didn't. Any pug calendars. I've got a dog calendar over there, Kelly. I'll go look at Oh, I got it apart. Okay. Let's see where we at here. And yeah, there's grease and dirt under my nails, guys, because I've been working on the car. So bear with me and forgive me on that, huh? There it is. That is so freaking cool. Um, hundred bucks. Twenty of them. I don't know. Look them up. Look them up. Look them up. So that is it for the haul, guys. Um, I did get. Oh crap! Pull those things right out of my ears. Don't you hate when you do that? You stand on your cord and you pull them out of your ears. Okay, uh, like this. So, I spent a total of about three hours between the everything that I, I polished, but this is the way that it turned out. Look at that. It's shining, baby. I've got this listed ready for 55 bucks, and uh, it is all clean, and I use um, plastic cleaner. The stuff that I use when I detail and take scratches out of... Um, Headlights, I use that on my plastic, and it turns out nice. All this stuff's listed. Uh, these got cleaned up, you know, with that plastic stuff. I couldn't get all the scratches out, but at least they look shiny and nice. And here's the other one. This is a little one liter. And this stuff's all listed. Uh, this thing turned out really nice with that plastic stuff because look at that screen. It's immaculate. And it's a mid-90s Montgomery Wards digital alarm clock. And it's freaking neat. I like it. <clears throat> and the Affleck helmet turned out really nice, too. So all that stuff got picture listed and done. Now it needs to be put away. Uh, let's see here. What else can we do? I have... Oh! That, guys. That right there is why I got a DuraForce Pro 2 phone because I drop things all the time <coughs> we sold a book that's all we sold last night was one book I need to put more tape on my this one fell off the drag I sold this book right here and this book is called the pictorial history of the American carnival and by itself it's not that cool I mean it's just a book about, I mean, if you're into carnivals and want to know about that stuff. But what makes this book unique is it was signed by the author. And let me bust out the, uh, da, 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 da. put you on thing, go like that. Ugh. It was signed by the author, it says, best wishes from Joe McKinnon. And there's the autograph. So I bought this, uh, what was it? Probably five months ago, four or five months ago. What is the plastic cleaner that you use? Just curious. It is Meguiar's Headlight Restorer. Boom. It's good. It works. And uh, it does really work. As um, soon as I picked this up about five months ago, I'd have to go back and watch the video. I don't remember. For uh, probably 50 cents. 50 cents. And I had it up there for $44, which sounds crazy, right? I bought it for $0.50, cents and I'm asking $44. Well, guys, what you have to remember as a reseller is just because you got it for nothing. I could have gotten this for nothing. 
basically I did. But just because you did, that doesn't mean that the perceived value is not there, right? To the right person. To somebody, this thing was worth 25 bucks. That's what I got for it. 25 bucks plus shipping and <laughs> Red Neckerson story time with Todd. That's how I feel in this chair. It's like story time. <laughs> um, so 25 bucks and we're going to ship it out 50 cents into 25. It goes. I was looking at other uh, things today, Kelly, like you're saying, mosquito spray. I was looking at things that people need versus wants. This is a want, not a need. This, definitely a want. You know, someone's going to buy that for 55 bucks. Although, you know what? I was looking and just this one ladder alone sells for like eight bucks. And I was like, should I part this thing out? Should I put it together? And just So I just put it all together and it's 55 yeah. bucks, I think, is what it's up there for. But then I'm also running a sale. So that's also something I did last night, guys, is I put my entire store on a 19% sale because it's 2019. It's the 2019 90% off sale, the entire store. So that's what I did. Don't spray paint, but it works. I'm using headlights. People don't pay up for the need. They do for their wants. That's right. They do for their wants. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. I know I do. Uh, no, I don't. I wait until I can find it for cheap. But that's not always a good way to go. But it works out in the end. Here's my example. I bought this off a... I, I'm assuming it's a kid. Just a young person who's selling on eBay. I have no idea. But anyway, this was advertised as a large tripod, right? And it had the little thing on top you put your phone on. Okay. Well, when it showed up... I saw it and I was like, what is this little teeny tiny thing? I expected it to be, you know, a, a big one, a big one. And it was this. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is silly. So I put my phone on it and it couldn't even hold it up. It just drooped. So I busted out the super glue because I was trying to make the best of a bad situation. Because, I mean, it was only five bucks and the shipping was another three. Uh, so I, I thought, I'm going to make it work. Well, I put the super glue on there and apparently it was too strong or it ate through the plastic because it snapped. Okay, so that sucks, right? But here's the deal. I'm a huge believer that in every bad thing that happens, I mean, it's hard to say sometimes, not every bad thing, but a lot of bad things that happen, there's gotta be a grain of good. You have to find the grain of good. Otherwise, you're just gonna have a rough life. So find the grain of good. What was the grain of good in this little stupid thing here was it had the attachment for the phone on it, right? So I unscrewed it, blah, 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 and screwed it onto my real deal aluminum tripod that's vintage or whatever, screwed it right on, and now I've got a tripod and a stand, and now I'm happy. So there you go. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. Otherwise, that thing's junk. What else, guys? Uh, I'm going to try some more gum again because that was good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That's good. Well, let's go, uh print off a shipping label, man. Well, let's go. Mm -hmm. Although, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to, uh, sorry, it's going to get dark, guys. I'm going to have to, uh, go grab my cell phone charger. Because this is going to warm back. So I'll set that right there. Mm-hmm. So now we're gonna do a little bit of shipping, real quick. Like, hi, Cindy. Cindy oh, okay. So you guys are gonna understand why I had a flip phone, real fast. <laughs> Thirty grain. Oh man, you're phony, dude. Just a little, little one. Huh? Oh, my chat was here and went away. Someone said hi. Hi, whoever you are. Hi, hi, hi. Makes sense why screen and your other phone is cracked. Yeah. How many times have I dropped this thing since we've been on? All right. At least twice. So in any given day, guess how many times I've dropped a phone? Several. This book's heavy, but it's going medium mail. So I'm going to put it in 
bag and a box. Call it good. Thrifty SMA, what's up? Oh, okay. Are you guys counting? We need to have a count. Keep count on this thing. <laughs> but I don't stress because it has a sapphire crystal and it takes a lot. It takes a lot. Based on what I saw. Yesterday, hospital. No, we don't. Yeah. Destiny, she drops it. Let's take a shot every time the phone falls. Oh, man. Maybe we'll do that on a Friday night if you guys do that. I don't drink much, but, you know, I will open up a can of beer. Get a tripod for it. I have. Oh, a little one. Yeah, I was just saying I had a little one. Rosie, did you. You must have missed it. I had this little teeny tripod. And I thought I was all cool. I was going to be like that, like a vlogger. No way, Jose. Let's charge this thing up. Turn it on. This is some good gum. Um, Kelly, I like it. And hey, guess what? Last night, some of you caught Kelly's show. And I was sitting there like this, my eyes half open, trying to stay awake. At, while she was doing her, her jewelry thing. Because she's like, yeah, Todd, I want to bring you on. I'm going to bring you on. I just have to give you a hard time. I gotta give Kelly a hard time. We all love Kelly hip flipping mama. She gives me a hard time. Cheers. <laughs> so there will be a time in the very near future where you see hip flipping mama and her younger dude, not younger dude, just uh, what do you call it? The hip, the flipping hustler. So I guess it's almost like the same, but different. We're gonna go live. Oh, you guys are going live tonight. Uh, ooh, don't even invite me. I see how it is. That's cool. I'm just playing. I'm playing. All right, let's go ahead and uh, turn the printer on. It's on. Put in the password. Oh, it's just gum. It doesn't lose its flavor right away like regular gum does, bubble gum does. Come in and try it. I will if it's not before my bedtime. Mmm. <laughs> oh, you're gonna have Tommy go live too. Dang, that'd be cool. That would be cool. I see the thing about me having gum in my mouth is I chew it like a horse. I always have. And multiple people are like, dang, dude. How's that gum? Sounds delicious. <laughs> I'm like, it is. But my theory is that I have to put a lot of air into it. Got to work it. Mm-hmm. Work it. All right. I missed what that chat said because it came up and went away. But it'll come back. I did try and sign in through my... Oh. Now you have to come live with the snow, Todd. Uh, well, it depends on what time. It depends on what time. Central time. Now, I ching. I'm playing over here with the stapler. The staple. Um, what time in uh, Central time? Because by nine o'clock, guys, I'm just like tired, tired. I'm tired. All right, that's true. I'm just waiting for this to open up. I suppose in the meantime, I could be putting this in a bag. I ordered 400 poly mailers, uh, the eBay style, because I upgraded my store, what, last week or something, to a premium. And I had a, I thought that I, hmm, I wonder if I have a $50 coupon there. So I did, so I used it. And then, so I'm waiting on that 400 poly mailers to show up. So otherwise, I would put this in one of those. But we're going to put them in a great big zippy what I call the big Ziploc gallon size. I'm a fan of those from Dollar General. I'm a fan. I had used the ones before that had the writing on them that said, don't put them over your head. So 8 p.m. Central can do. 8 p.m. Yeah, it's close, but I think I might be able to pull that one off. And I need to run upstairs and grab my charger before my phone dies. Now we're testing, testing fate, tempting fate here. Is the phone going to die or am I going to get the bag on first? What's going to happen? Remind me to take my headphones out before I run. Ready? Be right back. Mm -hmm. 
How is that for running? Technical difficulties, guys. Technical difficulties. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alright, I'm getting there. Alright. I gotta stop saying I'll be right back and just walk. 17 steps. I put them bells up there so that people know when I'm coming and going. You know, so you guys could hear me. Be doing my channel or yours. All you girls are talking about what you're gonna be on. Mm -hmm. Ugh. My last 31 day sales I have dipped. <laughs> dipped hard. That's okay. You just keep on keeping on. Wait a second. Oh. Yeah. That's past my bedtime. I <laughs> watched the replay. I know, huh? Uh, it doesn't matter, Red Neckerson. Red Neckerson is smart in a lot of things. Uh, I was sat and watched his whole video last night. Was it last night or this morning? Or, Gosh, I don't even know. But I was sitting there going, ooh, look at that. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, look at that. He's got some treasures in that house, boy. Um, let's see here. Print the label, Todd. It's the first time doing it or what? So, I like to put this bag like this. And then we're going to tape her up. 8 p.m. Central Time. So, I was thinking today as I was driving. I was thinking of going live. And I thought, you know what? Nah, I better just drive. That's a smart thing to do. Just drive. Not that it's not bad to do, but I just figured I better not test my luck. Uh, but I was thinking, you know what? I think it's probably almost time to get license plates on my car, on the Fiero, because um, it has classic plates on it, but I'm not sure how long classic plates are good for. Does anyone else know how long classic license plates are good for? Well, I don't, so I'm going to have to look it up. But I was thinking if I get new plates, I would like to do like Thrifty Dad did. Thrifty Dad David, he put uh, some personalized plates on his Camaro. And guess what it says? Thrifty Dad. That's cool, right? So I was thinking, how could I put Flippin' Hustler on license plates? Or would that even be smart? For one, right? But I never do anything bad, so I mean, it's okay. So that's good. Um, so it'd be like F L P N H S. No. L. No. F L P N. F L P N. H. Or no. S. No. H S. I don't know. I thought it worked out. Maybe it doesn't. Yeah, Dave's awesome, man. I'm sure he will. He's doing his thing. He's probably working really hard right now. He's got to focus and. That's, I totally, totally get it. Trust me, when you guys don't see me for a while, that's what I'm doing, I'm working. Okay, this is that. Let's go ahead and throw it in the box. <laughs> and for something like this, what I like to do, guys, is I like to uh, put it in a box like this and then just mush it between there and tape the edges. So that way if it gets any banging around, it's gonna be those edges that are supported on the corners. Or should I just lay the box out flat and put it in there? <laughs> Could do that too. I don't know. I'll send the link. Okay. I'm looking for the box. Oh, here's a good one. 
That's, see, that's that's the box right there. Big old M and M box. Sorry, I missed that last comment. I didn't see it, man. It came and it went. That's what happens. It comes and goes. Let's see what you got there. Mm -hmm. That's going to be perfect. But I am going to flip it inside out so I don't have to use a black marker all over it. And it'll just be a 100% clean box. And if you're not doing that, do that. Because it's very simple, very easy. Very simple, very easy. You just pull apart your box and then re-tape it back together. Bada bing, bada boom. Inside out, kind of bend it a little bit. And uh, there you go. She's ready to rock. Because okay, that would take a lot of black marker and it would look not a bit of good. Not a bit of good. Cool tip on the box inside out. Nothing else making a flipping Huster tag for the front only. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, that'd be cool too, huh? Yeah, I don't know if this is necessarily a Frankenstein box. Uh, it's just a cleaned up box. Taking it back to its original whatever. Giving it a second chance, man. And so I pick up boxes at uh, Pier 1 Imports. Uh, that was, and I always give credit to Craigslist Hunter because he's the one that put it in one of his videos two years ago or longer. But I listened to him and I did it and it has been good. But I also go to um, Dollar General because I made friends with the people over there. And so when I walk in there, like, hey, we got something for you. So it's pretty cool. Whoa. So I'm just gonna press this down. Kind of center it out of the way here. Is this how I wanna do this? Really? It is. I mean, I've done it a million times. Yeah, that's good. Ow! Oh! There's a little tiny metal on the inside of these headphones. And I have my socks on, on the carpet, and it just freaking shocked my head. Okay. Is that the way I want it? How many times am I going to say that? I'm in no hurry because it's the only one I have to ship, so I can uh, take my time to think about it. And that happens, man. It happens. You just got to keep on listening. Last night I had a goal. My goal was to hit 820. I did not reach it. I hit 816 because I ran out of things to list on my phone. I ran out of pictures. I wasn't about to get out of bed and come downstairs and fire everything up and start all over again. So I called it. I called it. But I got pretty dang close, man. And for me, it's not about how many listings you have up. It's about wanting to get up as much as you can. Because if you're trying, eBay knows somehow. And you get rewarded for it. That seems, is, that's just what I say, but you know what? I'm going to put a little piece of cardboard over that piece right there because it is, has a hole. Even though the thing's in a bag, I don't want that to be an issue. So we'll give it a little patch action like this. Got to be mindful of the clock because it is cold outside and I'm going to go pick up my baby from school. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Uh oh, something fell. Desiree says, should be right back. Did I see Desiree? You know what? It's a mental thing. I need to get over how I cannot. Destiny, Destiny, Destiny. I called her Desiree. What a dodo. Oh, I think this gum is losing its flavor. But it's okay because it's like 45 minutes into it. Or it's definitely longer than this average piece of bubble gum. Around, tape up the other sides. 
keep going. Okay, so getting back to it is it doesn't matter if you have 100, 50, 25, 10, you know. The only, only reason that it matters how many you have up is because that's the way I look at it is that's how many options you have for other people. You know, now I've got 800 options, you know. Out of millions and millions and millions of other eBayers, I've got 800 options. So that, that increases my chances. So that and the fact that eBay, you know, like I said, rewards you if you do your job. And, oh, did you see that? Did you see that? Jeez, this radio just came flying down from up there, which it shouldn't have because it's really heavy. Man. Okay, guys, well, I don't know what's going on over here. But anyway, um, but it comes down to being motivated, staying motivated. Um, and striving, that's what it is, striving. You're striving. It doesn't matter if you hit your goal of 293 today, but did you try? Are you striving for it? Well, if you are, then you can go to bed and sleep well. It's those times when I know when I strived and when I slacked. And, you know, we all lie to ourselves, but deep down inside, we know. Did you try hard today or did you not? And uh, I can usually just, I, the proof is in the pudding. When the phone cha-chings, then you're like, okay, I'm doing it. I did it. I said I was doing it. I'm doing it. And there it is. But thinking about it, wanting, wanting to do it is not going to make it happen. So if you have some stuff to list, even if it's a $10 item, even if it's a $5 item, if you bought it, list it. Who said that? Someone said that within the last couple days. If you bought it, list it. And that's kind of where I'm at now, you know. Even if I buy something that I think it's not worth something, I will list it. Case in point. Uh, what was that purse? Steve Madden. I guess it's a purse. Steve Madden purse I've had in my inventory. Just sitting in one of the boxes over there in my pile. My inventory pile. And I thought, ah, I'll take a picture of it and uh, list it. I did, and it sold right away. And I think someone else was talking about that, too. That when you list something that you haven't for a while and it sells, it's like, dang, why didn't I list that when I first got it? How did I get, how did it go by? You know? So a lot of my old inventory is just that stuff that I bought a long time ago and is still waiting to get listed. But in the meantime, all this new inventory that I pick up gets cuts in line in front of the old inventory. And uh, yeah. So the old inventory just sits there and looks at me like, dang, you're going to take a picture of me or you're just going to keep buying stuff? Well, I think Red Neckerson put it best last night. We're resellers, and when we find a deal, we're going to buy it, and we're going to make something happen with it. That's just how it is. And then that is kind of how a person ends up with a lot of everything, right? So then it comes down to creative stacking, which mine's not too creative or on this side. But I'm good with that. All right, this is gonna be solid. I like it. Solid. All right, the corners, the book's way in the middle here. So even if this thing gets dropped, it's gonna be just fine. Mmm, 85 pairs of shoes enlisted the same day. Who did that? David, were they all clean? Did you have to clean any of them? Because that's ridiculous. That's amazing. That's what I'm talking about. 85 listings in one day. Gosh, I think the most listings I've ever done in one day is maybe 40 in one sitting. Uh, or, you know, take a break and stuff in one day. But 85 listings. Do you have someone else helping you there, David? Brand new. Oh, nice. Dollar pair purchase on HBIT. Very cool. Brand new. Well, that I can see how that happens then. Because shoes in general, you end up having to put at least five minutes into every pair of shoes. As far as cleaning goes, because you got to wipe them down. Get the funk off. Get the funk off. Because it stinks, right? But new, I like it. I think the truth, Dave was talking about wanting to do a show someday too. That would be fun. I need to get back in my groove. I will, you know. 
Just me being me, being human. <laughs> Taping the crap out of this thing, huh? I'm lucky if I could do 25 listings in one day. No help except I keep y'all on to keep me listing. Okay, so that's why you're like, keep talking. I'm still working. 85 listings, man. I'm gonna have to go check out your store, David. Cause you must be moving some product. My boyfriend kicked my butt the other day. I listed some jeans on Posh. See, see, that's what happens. If you have it listed, if you have it listed, then uh -huh. We should make up a song, guys. If you have it listed, it's here. If you have it listed, otherwise it won't sell. If you have it listed or it won't sell, and you'll be stuck with it, and you'll have a death pile sitting right behind you like I do. My New Year's goal was to get 10 up on eBay Posh by local listings and five a week. I'm not hitting the goal yet. <laughs> Keep trying. Strive. Strive. All right, I'll have to go fix my stick of flat tire. Oh, dang. Okay, we'll see you later. Be cool. Be safe. Nice jingle. Uh, now I will admit jeans are evil time consuming. Yeah. Yeah, buy it, let's do it. Um, time consuming. So when things are time consuming, I, I try and offset those things that are not fun for me to take pictures and list. But I try and just buy things that I like to take pictures and list and still make money. Because if I'm not enjoying it, man, I'm just... I don't... I went and got, oh, I went to one of my buddies where he works today, and uh, he was asking about the store and if I'm still liking it and this and that. I'm like, oh, dude, yeah, my life is good. I'm not rich, but I'm happy, and that's worth all the money. You can always strive for the, the stupid paper, right? But to be happy? <laughs> if you buy it, then it's out, otherwise you're stuck with it. Gonna go watch David list 85 items. I want to see how he does it. And if I can do the same thing. Okay, that thing's ready to rock, guys. And if it gets dropped, doesn't matter, it's safe. Let's throw it on the old scale. And go from there. <laughs> Oh, let me see here. I'm gonna, let me guess first. I'm going to say it weighs... Dang. That weighs 3 pounds... 10 ounces. 3 pounds, 10 ounces. What we're shooting for, guys. Ready? Ready? 3 pounds, 10 ounces. Four pounds, three quarters. So four pounds, one ounce. That was off a little bit. I concur, great video. Thank you so much for the truth. I'm going to have to ask. <laughs> so I just laughed and I, I caught it. I heard it. But I was watching some of my videos and when I laugh, I sound like a dummy. I'm like, <laughs> and I don't care. All right, let's see where we're at here. I'm glad this thing's going to meet in mail, I'll tell you that. Vintage electronics and new inbox items is all I do now. They must be 40 or more. See, that's something else. <laughs> Sometimes it's like Beavis and Butthead. Yeah, uh, I used to watch a lot of uh, <laughs> Beavis and Butthead. Hey, uh, what are you doing, dude? What is this? Uh, is this eBay? What is this thing? This computer? Yeah, so... David, that's amazing. So my wife got this new coffee maker today, or for Christmas, and I tried it today, and guess what? It worked. It's a Keurig single serve little thing, but the coffee's in there is called Ultimate Caffeine. So that could be why I'm like ping, 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 ping. So if it's too much, man, you let me know. You need coffee? Yeah, ping. Hey, Swamp Picker, what's up, dude? How are you? 
Swamp Picker, he's Mr. 100. I should make him a shirt that says Mr. 100 and send it to him. That'd be cool, huh? Mr. 100. We got Todd on all day today. Keep the coffee coming. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay, so update it, Todd. I'm actually trying to use the new shipping thing. You know how we used to go back to the old method? I'm kind of caving in and just trying to roll with it. and It's really not that big a deal. I just was not too hip to the change. Lemmington, M-E. Where's M-E at? Can I wear a mask? Hey, what's up, James? How you doing, bud? Um, purchase and print. All right. So yesterday, oh my gosh. Yesterday, I printed off the label, but it jammed up, right? So I was like, cool. And somehow I, I backed out of everything. So I went back in and I bought another freaking label. Well, it wouldn't have been a big idea or a big deal had it not been a $16 label. $16 label that got printed up or got purchased twice on these freaking Bushnell Citation InstaFocus 7x35 coated lens binoculars. <gasps> 7x35? 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 Holy crap, guys. I gotta go see this real quick. Oh, I did. I screwed the pooch. Yeah, that's a term. I sent the guy my 7x50s. These are the 7x35s that he bought. Okay, guys, that's the reality, man. I had two pair of binoculars. I thought I double-checked them, and I sent the dude the wrong ones. So that means I have to go in, change my current listing of those, and yeah, so that was a learning lesson, and that's how you learn. Don't do that. Oh, well, so that was a $32 hit, basically. Or more. <laughs> uh, and that's how you learn. People say, how do you do this? How do you do that? You make mistakes. And guess what? That won't happen again. Or I will try not to let that happen again. Nikes. But when I first started, I remember there was a time where I'd be cutting corners of boxes, man. Trying to, to get that last ounce off so I could get it under a certain point. And uh, I'm sure he will. He'll probably be like, woohoo, I scored. Boo, sent me the wrong ones. Yeah, the, I, they went for 13 bucks plus the 16 15 shipping. $16.15 shipping that I bought twice. But actually, he paid 13 in shipping the first time. Um, so it really didn't cost me as much. But still, the point, guys, the point. You put similar things in different I in places. Yeah, I should have, but I keep my camera stuff and my stuff. You can get the other label credited. I was thinking, do I need to call PayPal or do I need to call eBay? Because I don't have a problem doing either. I've got them on speed dial. I just haven't done it because I still have to run around. 224. Oh, my 200 feet of bubble wrap arrived today too. That's out in the trunk of the car. So that's kind of fun. I didn't have enough hands to bring it in. And so, yeah, once I get my Pauline Millers, everything pretty much that I've ordered will have a right. That makes me happy. Really? Okay, that'd be good. So, this gum, I'm still reviewing the gum. It still doesn't suck, you know? And now it's really got some time on it. Okay, so that's that. I guess we can... Can we unplug this? Do I have enough charge, do you think? Mm. I guess we're about to find out. 11% remaining. Well, we'll just bring the charger with. How about that? Okay, laptop. Mm. Thank you for doing your job. Bring this over here.
here. Oops. Shut that down. Shut it down. Still waiting on the rest of my uh, black cardstock construction paper crap to come. That's another thing that's supposed to be here. Because I ordered 50 sheets of it because when you buy regular construction paper, like the kind that just fell over the floor, if you buy 96 pieces of construction paper, out of those 96, only 12 of them are going to be black. And I needed more than 12. So I went online and I bought 50. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that should work itself out. I'm gonna move this over here, put this right here. And actually, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Am I taking pictures? Am I staying live? Am I not? I probably shouldn't. I probably should just get my butt to work. That's what I'm telling you guys to do, and that's what I need to do. And otherwise, I'll just keep talking, man. You know how I do it. I'm a jabber box. But I will sit down for another five minutes and say, okay, we'll go from there. This, like that, like that, like this. Bag it and tag it. <laughs> All right. So, <clears throat> that was a short show. One hour. <laughs> That's as short as I can get them, guys. To recap, lots of keychains. Lots of fun stuff. Keep your eyes open for it. I did list the camper. It's up there for 55 bucks, and I did 25% off because it's not a full set. Um, I'll get 40, I think it's like up there for 44 bucks plus shipping. So that'll turn 14 into 44. I'm good with that. Uh, what is with the star background? The star background on this side is a banner that I ordered, or it's it's a backdrop that I ordered. It's seven, seven by five. And so then when I have this on, it kind of all goes together and looks cool. I just wanted something behind me that was kind of neat. Because it looked poopy. So that's it. 16 people here. 12 likes. I appreciate each and every one of you for stopping in. I do. Because there's a million other places you could be right now. You could be watching Gomer Pyle. You could be watching whoever else. Uh, you know what? I should put an affiliate link in the description box below for that, huh? I think I might have to figure out all that affiliate link stuff. And get in on that. Yep. Speaking of which, you can get one of those if you if you so need to. You don't have to, but you could. Uh, I I enjoy wearing them myself. It's kind of fun. All right, guys, that's it. Todd Rendon, Flippin' Hustler, live and rolling out. Andy Griffith box set. I love it. Truth, David, don't you get me started again, Mister. The other day, he's like, Hey, Todd. Will you tell us about each one of your 800 items? So I started going through them, and I stayed on for another, what, hour? I was like, dang. Not going to happen today, sir. I got things to do. I got money to make just like you. I'll talk to you all soon. Hit that like button before you leave. Subscribe, share, all that fun stuff. But most importantly, enjoy your day. Be happy. Enjoy what you do. If you're at home right now and you have an opportunity to list, you're like, oh, God, I should list. Go freaking list because that's what we do. It's fun, right? Let's all be thankful. Talk to you guys later. Peace. Shut this thing down in three, two, one. One.